CNN is feeling, I think, the pressure of like, maybe we can't keep doing full on pro-Israel, uh, pro-genocide propaganda. And so every once in a while, they do let some of these stories through. And so this is actually, believe it or not, for, it's not Jake, Jake Tapper speaking, but it is from a Jake Tapper episode, show, whatever, hour. Uh, but he is, uh, Jake Tapper's a, a, a pro-genocide kind of maniac, neoliberal piece of garbage. However, he did, maybe his producers, maybe he didn't even know what he was about to air, but he did allow this segment on. So let's see a moment of this real quick that they rolled into a cemetery, took bodies out of graves as part of what they say is a search for Israeli hostages remains. But as the Israeli military put out that statement, we were completing our investigation into the Israeli military's desecration of cemeteries. And what we found is 16 cemeteries across Gaza damaged or destroyed. I do want to warn our viewers that they may find some of these images disturbing. In Gaza, even the dead cannot escape the indignities of war. More than a dozen cemeteries like this one in Jabalia, desecrated by the Israeli military. Gravestones destroyed, soil upturned, tread marks leaving little left for the living to honor their dead. Okay, so... And and you can imagine what the rest of the segment is. It is detailing the IDF's desecration, destruction of cemeteries across uh, Gaza. And a few things here. It's, it's amazing it's being carried on CNN. But beyond that, uh, you, you wonder why. Why would Israel, yes, Israel clearly wants to kill as many Gazans as they, as they can. Why would the IDF go after cemeteries? Now, they're trying to claim the IDF has put out a statement saying it's to look for the bodies of hostages, which is the dumbest excuse I've ever heard. First of all, we know the IDF in Israel doesn't give a shite about hostages because they're killing their own hostages. They killed them on October 7th. They've killed them with bombs since.